Pastor Todd with a devotional for July 18th. In verse 3 of Psalm 66, the psalmist acknowledges that some of God's enemies will not give him this heartfelt worship. Rather, literally, they will lie to him. Outwardly, they may go along with a crowd and singing to God. Inwardly, their hearts are not right with him. They're faking it, pretending to obey. The psalmist mentions this to show that true worship is a matter of the heart and also to warn us who have tasted God's kindness not to fall into this kind of hypocrisy. The antidote, as John Calvin observes, is nothing so compels us to a due reverence towards God as when we place ourselves before His face. In verse 4, the psalmist sets forth a prophecy or hope that is often repeated in the Old Testament. All the earth will worship you and will sing praises to you. They will sing praises to your name. The message of God's awesome works and glorious name will spread beyond the Jews to all the nations. This is also the theme of Psalm 67. It refers to the nation sincerely worshiping God, stemming from hearts made right with Him through the transforming power of the good news of Jesus Christ. This world system is in opposition to God, but one day every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The question for us is will we voluntarily offer ourselves to Him or will we be forced to bow before Him and declare who He is?